If you see the screen of your television right here, the wheelchair that she once sat in is no more. You can see her walking freely for the glory of God. Baba, sister, come, 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 come. Spin around. We want to see what you can do. Let's look at this. Look at what God Almighty has done. Hallelujah. Julia, where did you come all the way from? Baltimore, Maryland. So you mean to say you were on a wheelchair for six months. You came all the way from Baltimore, Maryland just to be in this service today. Yes. Julia, we understand that you were in a car accident back in November of last year that put you into a wheelchair. We want to hear and understand just a little bit more so we can really understand where you were coming from. What was the problems that you were having after you got into that car accident and you were laying in that hospital bed? What continued to go on from there? After that, I wasn't able to feel in my whole body. I wasn't able to move. My jaw was completely locked. I couldn't eat food at the time, and they were trying to put it like a G-tube in my stomach, but my family said no, because God is gonna work miracles. Amen, and we, we want to know, you said that you came from Baltimore, Maryland, but where did the car accident take place? The car accident took place in Nebraska. So you mean to say that after you ha got into that car accident, the doctors now said that you needed to go to Maryland where the rest of your family was for your continued treatment? Yes. And what kind of things did the doctors want you to do and how were you responding in your body? They wanted me to do physical therapy. They wanted to do more testing to try to see if, you know, I can get better. And did any of that work for you? No, God worked for me. And Julia, we want to ask you really quickly, what was your expectation? You had been going through all of this pain. You, didn't ha you couldn't feel from your neck down. We saw that even as you came here, you were strapped into a wheelchair. What was it like for you even emotionally going through all of that, being a perfectly able body, getting into a car accident, and then your life changing? It, was, it wasn't easy, but I was raised in a Christian home, so I knew that God can do it. I just continue to pray and cry out to him and it was kind of discouraging when it went six months long but I, I just kept enduring I kept pushing through because God's the healer amen we want to hear from your sister really quickly if you can just come over here sister and what is your name my name is Lorianne Lorianne when you heard the news of what happened to your sister what was the, the first thing that you thought of when I heard the news of what happened to my sister, I was out of state. I was in Florida, Tampa, Florida. I was there, um, you know, I also do ministry, so I was in ministry. When I heard that she was in Nebraska, you know, my dad was in Maryland and my mom was in Nebraska with my other. So when I heard that, I was so, it, it torn me. Like I was like really broken because you don't want to hear news like that, especially about your little sister. You know, she's only 17, she's turning 18 this year. So when I, you know, when, that, when I heard that, it was, I was hurt. So my brothers were telling me to go and get my dad. So when I went, got there, we, we, got, we all started praying because they said they were making different decisions, saying they're going to bring her back to Maryland because it's the best care. They weren't sure what to do, so they were transferring her from different hospitals. They even put her in a um, nursing home, you know, because she had, she was, they were saying they wanted to put a G-tube on her because she wasn't able to eat on, you know, on her own. She wasn't able to move on her own. She was not able to, you know, she wasn't functioning properly. She was in, di you know, diapers, everything. It was like, it was severe. But God is a powerful God. And he remains God. So what kind of emotional trauma did your family go through? What kind of financial burdens did you guys go through because of this accident? It was hard, you know. But now, I know, honestly, when, when we came I was like, you know, when that, when this happened, because Julie was born in Baltimore. So when this happened, she was out of Baltimore. I wasn't in, I wasn't in Baltimore at the time. So when I said, you know what, like when we came out here, I said, God, you're going to do a mighty, mighty thing, you know, you know, since all this happened. So I know that God is mighty and powerful and he will do exactly, he will do what man can do. God is able to do, you know, my, I come from a prayer for home. My parents pray, everybody prays, my siblings pray. And I know that God is mighty and he's just gonna continue to do a mighty work. And what kind of financial burden did this bring upon your family because of this accident? It's been 
because uh, I mean it's been a lot of expenses and everything else that's been um, you know but God is mighty and he's, and he's gonna continue to do his work amen right now every single person in this room uh, we want to encourage you guys if God has placed it in your heart, you see this family, you see the wonderful blessing that has taken place in this woman's life. She couldn't walk, but you can imagine being in a situation like this, not being able to walk, having to go from doctor to doctor. You heard them explain that they were pushed from hospital to hospital to hospital. And you can imagine the financial burden that it would take for something like this to happen. And now for the glory of God, she's healed and can walk. But it doesn't remove the financial burden that has been placed upon this family. And I myself am going to take the first step. I would like to give a donation to this family. And if you also would like to give a donation to go towards this family, we would like you to please come forward. We are going to have a bucket. Can we get a bucket, please? If you would like to make a financial donation to this family, we know that God Almighty is going to bless you. As you sow into someone else's life and you sow into what God Almighty is doing, that same blessing will now come upon your family. God Almighty will do it for you. So we want to encourage you. You can just come forward right now. If you want to give something, please, we want to bless this family. They came all the way from Baltimore, Maryland. Let's give these people a round of applause who are going to give a donation today. They came all the way from Baltimore, Maryland because they believed that God Almighty could do it for them. We believe that right here, right now, whatever you give, whatever is happening in your life whatever trauma you're going through whatever situation that you may be going through right now we know that God Almighty is able to meet you at the point of your need as you give and sow into the life of others God Almighty will give and sow into your life because God loves a cheerful giver God Almighty loves when his people his children come together to bless one another we know that Jesus Christ is ready to touch you. As you have received this weekend, please, we want to help this family. We want to give them all that we can so that they can have less of a financial burden for all of the trouble that they've been through. We thank God Almighty for this wonderful healing that she has received. Julia, can you just show the people all the things that you can do now that you couldn't do before? Let's give her a hug. Everybody, if you're here, let's give her a hug. Let's just give God a round of applause for everything he's done. Let's give this woman some love because God Almighty has done a wonderful thing in her life. Don't forget the family. Let's give them some love. Thank you guys watching so much. watching this content, I hope this was a blessing to you. If you're like me and you like to click on things, click on this, subscribe to our channel, and the content will come to you every time we post it. And remember, the best is yet to come.